Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing this morning? How is everyone doing today? <clears throat> this is Gregory Wilds coming live to you from Houston, Texas, with this inspirational morning walk. This inspirational morning walk. For first time listeners, I just get some exercise in the mornings and I share my thoughts with you guys. What I am inspired to talk about that day. It's a beautiful day here in Houston. Beautiful, beautiful. Just in early 50s, just nice and cool, and I can get some work in today. But yes, it's a beautiful day. Good morning, Renita. How are you doing today? How are you doing? All is well where you guys are. Yeah, it's beautiful here in Houston. It's beautiful here in Houston today. Yes, guys, I'm on on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays um, at 7.30 Central Time. Um, you can calculate which time zone that is. I think it's 8.30 Eastern and wherever you are, you can calculate what um, time that is. But yes, and on YouTube, I upload everything on YouTube. So if you miss anything, you could always go on YouTube and find it. Yes, Renita, we're beautiful and sunny here. We're nice and sunny. After all that crazy weather two weeks ago, we back into the regular sunshine and nice weather. Yes, guys. So, so today, guys, today I want to talk. I want to talk a little bit more about dreams since we had started talking a little bit about dreams. I want to continue on that conversation while we can take one little aspect of her dreams, right? Dreams, some of your dreams that indicating delay and setback. Dreams that indicating delay and setback. And we explain what that means, right? What that means, delay and setback. So I'm going to read a little thing here and give you understanding what is all about delay and setback means. Mr. Keith Tellman, how are you? How are you, my brother? How are you doing, man? Yes, yeah, so I can give you, read a little bit what the whole thing about delay and setback is. And then we can get into some discussion about it. And uh, we can talk about a few dreams that indicates that. So if you're getting these dreams consistently, you can have an idea of what you're dealing with, right? So let me read this quickly. So those who suffer from the spirit, from this spirit, spend much longer time to get what others get easily and quickly. They work so hard before they can get anything. By the time they eventually get it, all the joy of such achievement would be gone. The Bible says hope defers makes the heart sick. When you see men and women afflicted by this spirit, all the people who are, are younger than them get things easily and quickly. But when they make their own attempt, they become very hard. They pay unusual price in getting anything done and they are always last on the line of blessings. The last to get admission to college, the last to pass exams, the last to get married, the last to have children, etc. They are also always behind in breakthroughs. Their middle name could easily be called brother or sister, last or behind. Right? So this is a little idea what the spirit of delay does. You always as last to get stuff, man. You always last to get stuff, man. And this thing... I remember this is one thing that, that did affect me. And I, I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't understand what was going on, man. You always last to get promotions. You always, I remember one time it went so far as my boss back in Guyana there, young man doing my job, doing excellent, write up a beautiful, beautiful um, recommendation for me to be promoted to a supervisor. Beautiful recommendation, man. I get in these dreams, but I didn't know what what was what next thing you know some 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 little foolish stuff happened a day or two after and he went back and write the next letter stating why i shouldn't get the promotion now right and acknowledging that i'm one of his best technicians but still I didn't get the promotion I, and you know I'm looking back at all these things and that was my thing in life all all the all the time you always last you hear you're too young you hear you're too old you hear you're not much experience all of these stuff you're hearing but it's keeping back you from moving forward and you got to watch people move forward ahead of you that you know they know that they're not better than you it's so bad that they're gonna 
someone might be promoted over you and they're asking you to supervise their work and watch over them and you still got to do all the stuff and this person got the promotion you didn't understand it right you didn't understand it but i can give you a few dreams that i was having consistently not before i understand what these stuff mean and what I was dealing with before I come against the spirit of delay blessings, right? Guys, I tell you, these things are all spiritual, right? The things, that's where the origin is. The origin is there. Because you might say, oh, this person, I didn't get this promotion because of race. Race might be the reason they, 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 they use, but that's not the original cause, right? It might not be. If you deal with stuff spiritually, you're going to see your breakthroughs come true. So let's look at some dreams. Any type of dreams that you get things that you always back, some event in your life that passed, like you always backing your parents' house. You're a grown man or a woman right now, got your own family, but you're consistent dreaming that you're back in your parents' house and where you all grew up and, and all of that. You're back at your grandparents' house or something. I always dream about, you, about your grandparents' house when you guys were younger. A farm or apartment that you left. You're always dreaming of your old house or your old apartment. For the people who like migrated to different countries, you're always dreaming you're back in your old country. You're back in the country that you're from. You're back in your old school. Man, that's one I used to get always. Just just got just got one of those. You're back in your old school that you graduated from from years ago. You're back in your old school, right? You're back in your school uniform and everything like you're going back to school. Now, why would you be dreaming about that kind of stuff? Those events pass in your life already. Or you might see your kids grown right now and they're back at school. You're taking them to school. They're back in the school uniform and all of that, guys. Any events that you already pass in your life and you consistently keep dreaming about stuff that you already done with, passed through in life already, you consistently keep dreaming about it, guys. I want you to take note, take note, right? Take note and look at stuff correlating in your life. You could possibly dealing with that spirit of delay and setback, right? Delay and setback. It come in, remember here, remember in Ephesians 1, 3, where it says, Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. So the enemy is seeing these blessings that you have, and all these blessings got appointed time on them. When when, when you get to, to, to age 10, this is going to happen. When you get to 12, when you get to 15, and the enemy seeing this, and that's what he is attacking. He's want to delay and set your blessings back. If you're supposed to get something when you're 25, he make you wait till you 35 to get it so by the time you get it it's not no fun it's not no joy in getting that now right you wait so long to get a promotion you're doing the work all the time for your boss because the boss don't know much about it and you doing all the work and you're still getting the promotion by the time you get that promotion now it's not like uh, it's like man look there's no joy in it no more because you got you was doing that already right you was doing that already there's no joy in it no more right so, so look at these stuff that's correlating in your life with these dreams. Anytime you consistently keep dreaming, but stuff that you pass already and you consistently keep dreaming, but I'm back in my old school, I'm back in my old tongue, I'm back in my old home where I grew up with, and you 50 years old now, you still dreaming, but, but when you were 16 and 15 and all of that, guys, right? Anything like that. So look at it. You want to come against the spirit of delay and setback. All they're trying to do is set you back. Everything that God has planned for you for the appointed time, they're trying to keep you back. And remember the, the Ma Matthew 13, 25 that we talk about the last time when we talk about the different, the three different type of dreams, dreams from God, dreams from the enemy. And one of the dreams from the enemy is, but while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sold weed among the wheat and went his way. That's what he's doing, right? And lack of knowledge. We do not have this knowledge. So he is taking advantage of us in our sleep. Because every time we don't wake up and challenge these dreams and we don't know what we're dealing with, it's 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 permission he's getting to do um to, to, to do this stuff in our lives, guys. So if you continuously getting those dreams that you pass an event, pass event in your life, guys, this is the spiritual intelligence that you're getting. This is the spiritual intelligence that you are getting that's telling you what you are dealing with. Remember God, so he can always tell us what's going on. He can look out for us. 
He's going to look out for us and he can speak through us through dreams and visions. So if you if that's your spiritual intelligence that's telling you, good morning, Jillian, good morning, Tracy. That's your spiritual intelligence telling you what you are dealing with. Remember, our fight is not against flesh and blood. Don't go and beat the boss. Don't go and crush the boss out. The boss is being manipulated to do this to you. And they don't even know because they're coming to you and asking you to do this stuff, which they know you can do it. And they know the person they promote cannot do it. So they are being manipulated and blinded. They don't even know what they're doing. You remember Ephesians 6, 12, or a fight is not against flesh and blood. It's not against the flesh and blood. So we need to come against the spirit of delay blessings and setback. Delay and setback. That's what you are dealing with if you seen these things happening in your life. Man, when I see this, because I always getting these dreams i back at school and gotta write exams and and i just can't study for my exams and always back always going back and then you might go back you're dreaming that you're back in 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 way back in time then you're meeting people who who's already dead meeting people who's already dead and then so all of that is it's 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 taking you back it's pulling you back so guys Mr. Charlotte Prince, how are you doing, sir? So, guys, if you're getting these type of dreams, if you're getting these type of dreams, know what you're dealing with. You're dealing with delay and setback. You could do your own research on this. Don't take what I'm saying. I'll go and do your own research, guys. And you want to come against. And I would suggest taking on a little fast and come against the spirit of delay and setback, man. This is one, I'm giving you my experience. That's so much more ex thing I can tell you about about my life when I realize the pattern after I get this knowledge and realize the pattern. But what will get me when I see the same pattern start to happen in my, in my son's life. I was like, no way, this is not gonna happen. This got to stop. When you see that and you, you realize it's a pattern and it's going on, then your kids suffer from the same thing. I was like, no way. This is going to stop today. And I have to educate myself on what's going on and, 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 and then come against that, guys. So, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Not going to go on too long today. But I want you guys to look at that and see if you getting or you know anyone getting these consistent dreams of dreaming about the past. Let them know it's a spirit of delayed blessings they probably can deal with. And you can look at things in your life and see if it's correlated. All right, guys. So have a great day and we'll talk again on Monday. Have a blessed weekend. Okay, bye.